Lesson 3, Angles of Any Magnitude, Part 1, Theory. Now in this part here, we're going to set up the unit circle and work out the ratio of sine, cos, and tan from this unit circle. And we can see here that the sine of theta, the sine of theta, is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse, which is just y on 1 or just y cos of theta is the adjacent of the hypotenuse, which is x on 1 or just x, and the tan of theta is equal to the opposite over the adjacent, which is y on x. And now we'll proceed to go around each of these quadrants. This one is called the first quadrant, quadrant 1. This is the second quadrant going in this direction, quadrant 2. This one's quadrant 3. And this one is quadrant 4. Now moving on to the second quadrant, we can see that this angle theta right, is really moving in this direction here. That angle is 180 degrees minus theta. So the sine of this angle in the second quadrant is the sine of 180 degrees minus theta. And that equals just y on 1 or y because of 180 minus theta is equal to minus x on 1, this minus x, and the tan of 180 minus theta is equal to y on minus x, or minus y on x. So we can see here that the only ratio that is positive is going to be the sine ratio. So the sine is the only one positive in the second quadrant. All right, now moving on to the third quadrant. You can see here there's the angle theta in the third quadrant. So this angle here all the way around is 180 degrees plus theta. One eighty plus theta, and of course this is minus x and this is minus y. So the sine of one hundred and eighty plus theta is equal to this time minus y on one or minus y. The cos of one hundred and eighty plus theta is equal to minus x minus x on one or minus x, and the tan of 180 plus theta is minus y on minus x, which is y on x. Right, so we know that they're all positive here, a all positive, the sine is positive. Now this time, the tan is the one that's positive. Okay, so tan is the only one positive in the third quadrant. Okay, finally, in the fourth quadrant, quadrant. This angle here is 360 degrees minus theta. That's 360 degrees minus theta. So the sine of 360 degrees minus theta equals minus y on 1 or minus y the cos of 360 minus theta is equal to just x, and the tan of 360 minus theta is equal to minus y on x. So we can see here in the fourth quadrant that the cos is the only one that is positive. So all positive in the first quadrant sine was positive in the second and the tan was positive in the third. And we can use this little notation A S T C the way to remember to say all stations to central to remember the, 
that way. Or as some people remember it the other way, they C A S T, but I prefer A S T C. Okay, now after this, we'll g I'll give you um, some examples, three examples of this, and then there'll be exercises to, to follow in the in the uh, other videos.